Okay, hey guys, this is Troy, Half Court Report, YouTube channel, and had to uh, do this live stream today because I got to talk about the Detroit Pistons. I wasn't planning to do a video uh, tonight, but start a free agency, and the news with the Pistons and the guys that they are signing is too crazy that I had to make something about it. What is this team doing? Um, I've got a lot of I've got a lot of Pistons fans on this channel. So maybe you can tell me in the comments what on earth your team is doing. Uh, doing uh, Troy Weaver, the new GM, what is he doing? I don't get it. He had such a good reputation coming from Oklahoma City, and he did really well in the draft, I thought. But this, these free agency signings so far, complete, literal head scratchers. Okay, before I get into it, uh, make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel getting close to 10,000 subscribers and would love for uh, you guys to be a part of the channel. Okay, so I made some notes here that I'm going to be referring to, so I make sure I cover everything. What are the Pistons doing? What on earth? So if you'll recall, just the other day in the draft, they did such a nice job. They got Killian Hayes at the point guard spot. Uh, they they got uh, Sadiq Bey for their small forward. They got a. Uh, they made that trade for Arizo, which is okay. Get some veteran. Uh, get some a veteran presence there. They got Isaiah Stewart, who is a guy that a lot of folks had in the late twenties, maybe early second round. I actually like him as a player. Uh, he's probably a little undersized. I think he's only about six seven, six eight, but he's one of those dudes who has like a seven two wingspan. So that said to me, okay, they'll probably try to play Isaiah Stewart at center, uh, maybe have him play with Seiko Demboya, back up Christian Wood, because at the time, at the time, I thought they were going to be signing Christian Wood. But after what we've seen tonight, that is looking uh, increasingly unlikely. Uh, I think by this point, I'm going to have as good of a chance to be playing for the Pistons next year as Christian would. So let's look at uh, at these free agent signings. Um, you know, they were in a position. They were in a position to really make a splash in free agency. Uh, what did I write down? Yeah, about $35 million in free agency, third most money in the NBA to spend. So in a great cap situation, uh, I was thinking, you know, Fred Van Vliet might be an option for them. Christian Wood, of course, would be an option for them. You know, they were one of only a few teams that could sign him, along with maybe Charlotte and the Knicks, to give him the type of money that I thought he was going to be getting. And, you know, they'd already invested a ton of it, ton in him. Uh, he really came on well for them toward the, uh, really, all of last season, but especially toward the end after that Andre Drummond trade. And I thought they were really grooming him to be you know, the next quote-unquote NBA unicorn, along with Seiko Demboya, Killian Hayes, you know, and any other, any other players that they sign or draft. But this is what happened. Uh, shortly after free agency, uh, the Pistons made a move to sign Mason Plumley, who most recently was backing up Nikola Jokic in Detroit. Only had aver averages last year of about seven points, five rebounds a game. Uh, you know, he's a good backup center. Uh, he can play make a little bit, can pass the ball. Uh, he doesn't shoot threes. He's strictly a by-the-hoop kind of player. But they signed him to a three-year deal, $8 million a year, which is crazy because, as we know, the, the center position is already getting devalued in today's NBA because uh, teams want guys who can stretch the floor. Teams want guys who can play fast. So that's why, you know, we, we saw a lot in, the, in this most recent draft, saw a lot of guys who can play that swingman position, those 6'7", six, 6'8", six, guys who can run the floor well, shoot threes, and defend really well. Whereas Mason Plumley, he is a one-position kind of guy. He's going to play center. He's going to give you about 15 minutes at center, 15, 20 minutes per game at center, and that's it. So I was like, okay, well, I would have thought they would make Christian Wood that priority. For some reason, they made... Plumley, their priority. That's fine. Uh, they're just going to have Christian Wood uh, sign a little bit later on today, and I guess Plumley is going to back him up for some reason. Okay. 
Well, then it turns out they sign Jalil Okafor. Jalil Okafor, who, you know, let's face it, has been very disappointing after his, you know, since his rookie year in the league. And they signed him to two to a two year, two million or four million four million dollar a year deal. So two million dollars each year for the next two years. And again, I'm left scratching my head because Okafor and Isaiah Stewart, who they drafted, very similar players. They don't have range. They're too big, maybe not lumbering centers, but not the not guys like Christian Wood, who are going to be flying up and down the court. They're, they're not going to be shooting threes. They're going to get rebounds. They're going to get all their work done right at the hoop. Very similar to Plumlee, but they're on the younger side. And it doesn't, make, it doesn't make any sense to me. If you're going to draft Isaiah Stewart, which is basically a Jalil Okafor clone, and then you actually sign Okafor. So that makes makes no sense to me whatsoever because you have Plumlee and you have yet, you still haven't signed Christian Wood. Um, then, you know, if you want to complicate matters even even more, uh, they, they made that trade on draft night uh, for Tony Bradley, who was another young up-and-coming backup center. And they made that trade uh, for Dwayne Dedman, who is an overpaid backup center, making about $10 million a year, I think for the next two seasons, I believe. Um, Okafor, Bradley, Dedman, and Stewart, all very similar players. They're not going to stretch the floor, really. They're going to get you some rebounds. Uh, they're not really playmakers. And then you have Plumlee, who is a backup. And you still don't have Christian Wood. So what are they doing? Because then... It, it, okay, then... How, how many backup centers are you going to have in... in on this team. Who, who's the starter? Are you going to start Plumley? He hasn't started uh, consistently since he was with Portland a few years ago, and even then he was better as a backup. Are you going to move Blake Griffin to center and start him alongside Seiko Deboya? Because remember, you got to get this guy some reps in. Uh, they have like plans to turn him to into like the new Pascal Siakam. Uh, that's not going to happen with him sitting on the bench or in the G League. So are you going to have Griffin be the center? Okay, if that's the case, then you've got Plumlee, Okafor, Bradley, Deadman, potentially Isaiah Stewart if you want to play him at center at, as a backup. And and to top it all off, these are the guys you have in, in the backcourt. Killian Hayes, a rookie. Derrick Rose, who will probably end up getting traded. And Rodney Magruder, who could end up getting bought out. The three, literally three players you have at that point guard and shooting guard position. I, it, I don't get it. And then I guess to add insult to injury, now there is news that Christian Wood is signing with Houston. Um, but then that's been retracted that he's speaking with other teams. But the deal with Houston was only for a million dollars a year more than what they signed Plumlee to. And in no, in no world is Plumlee a better overall player than Christian Wood. Christian Wood is younger. He stretches the floor. He has pretty good defense. Uh, he can... The, both guys have, have a fairly good defense, but... Christian Wood is the guy who's going to grow with this young team. He's going to be, he could have been that building block with Killian Hayes, with Seiko Deboya, uh, with Josh Jackson, who they just signed as well. That's more cap space that is, is going toward not signing Christian Wood. So, guys, I don't, I don't understand this. I don't understand this at all because if the plan is to build around Killian Hayes, Sadiq Bey, Seiko Deboya, Guys like Plumlee, Okafor, uh, not signing Christian Wood, that is not the way to go. Head-scratching moves. I don't get it. So guys, let me know in the comments what you think of these moves. Uh, am I in the minority here? Are these excellent moves and there's just something that I don't see? 
Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments, especially if you're a Pistons fan. If you're a Pistons fan, I expect you to comment on this video and tell me what on earth is this team doing? Because I have no clue. Are, do you guys like Troy Weaver? Has he completely lost all of your confidence? Because he had a great reputation coming from Oklahoma City. But if these are the kinds of free agent moves he's going to be making, he, this is like what the Knicks did last year. And I don't, and I don't mean to pile on the Knicks. Uh, this is like what the Knicks did last year when they signed all the power forwards. They're signing nothing but centers and Josh Jackson. I mean, who's next? DeMarcus Cousins? Are they going to sign Hassan Whiteside? Are they going to make a trade for uh, Gorgie Jing? I don't know. It makes no sense. Okay, guys. Uh, <laughs> make sure you like the video if you've enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I do NBA videos like this all the time. I've been doing a lot of live streams lately because we've had so much breaking news. But usually uh, I'll, I'll have some actual video and not just be in my uh, in front of my green screen like this, which uh, I've gotten the comments before that it looks kind of sketchy. Okay, yeah, it's a little sketchy. But uh, breaking news for you guys, I had to get this video out. Okay, uh, I will see you uh, here, in, here in the next couple days with another video, either free agency related, draft related, something. But make sure you like the video, make sure you sub to the channel, and I'll see you next time.